Hey everybody. Boy, long time no see, huh? Yeah, I haven't been able to get up in my room for days. We have a lot going on. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let's just take a minute, speaking of busy, 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 let's just take a minute and light my candle. I haven't charged it, so I hope this will work. I love this thing. Let's take a breath. There's a lot going on outside this room, so I like to light my candle and just take a little breath and let all that energy from before I walked in the room stay out there. It'll be there when I'm done. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're working on the dark book, but I have a special Happy Meal, and I am so excited I can't hardly stand it. This is from my dearest friend, Tracy. We literally grew up together. Um, gosh, Tracy and I have been friends now for 50 years, longer than 50 years. And, um, oh, she's just thanking me because I sent her some of, she wanted some of the Sears and Roebuck paper, so I sent her some. Oh, ooh, piano paper, oh my. Oh, oh, Tracy, these are gorgeous. Oh, wow. Not sure what that says. Idaho Mountain. Looks like Idaho Mountain. Wow. Oh, thank you. Mm. Look at this. What the hell is this? This is gorgeous. Is this the wallpaper? Must be. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it'd be hard to decide what side to use. I like this back side. I love this. Oh, love it. Oh, yum. Tracy's getting into journal making. She's caught the bug. Oh. Look at all those cool stamps. Australia, Canada. Honduras. Wow. Mm. Thank you, sweetie. Mmm. Shorthand. Right? Am I right? Yep. Oh my gosh. I've been wanting and looking for shorthand. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. Oh, I can't wait to do something with this. Oh, maybe I'll use a page in the in the dark book. It's kind of mysterious. It would go in the dark book. Oh, yummy. Thanks, Trace. Mmm, love it. Maybe I'll, mm, let's just use one pace. I'm not hoarding it. I'm going to use it. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is Idaho. Right? Isn't it? Is it Idaho? Mm, maybe. Well, you didn't have to do that. I wanted you to have those papers, but 
you're not getting any of this back. So thank you. I love you. I love you, sis. Thank you very much. I love you even if you don't send me stuff. I always love you. Okay, so the dark book has taken over. Can I just say that? It is, I mean, it's everywhere. I do not know how people, a lot, most of the people I watch have a system where they have little baskets for the ephemera and then the paper. Da, 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 da. I started out that way, but that's not happening now. What I want to do is get paper together because I, I have it everywhere. So, um, let me see if I can make sense of this mess. I do have an idea in my head, and that's as far as it's gone. Okay, so this is made ephemera. Maybe, maybe that's where I'll start. I made this the other day. This is from Witchcraft Do You Do, which is spelt W H I C H, I believe. I'm not positive now that I've said it. I might have the. Yeah, there it is. WitchcraftDoYouDo.com. I got this off of Etsy. They're just printables. And then what I did was I took. Um, uh, this is tracing paper that I poured hot coffee on. And it made it really um, stiff and stained it. And I just put a little sheet there. And then I'm going to sew the edge. Okay, this is what I'm using to paint and smear and rub on and all that. These are papers I want to put in the signatures. Let's see if I can put them all in one or something. Once you start tearing your stack apart, it, it starts to make sense and it's not quite so overwhelming. This, I love these. This is, these are, they're parchment bags that you bake with. Um, I think they're made for fish. That's what I've used them for. You put a little, you put your fish in the bag, salt and pepper, lemon pepper, whatever, some butter and whatnot, and then you, um, you bake it in there and it makes it really, really moist. Anyway, they make, they, I coffee dyed that or tea dyed it, I don't remember which. Okay, and here's our beginning of our book. So I do want to use these. Do I want to cut that out? Okay, that, why did I save that? Probably for these, I'll bet. This I want to use. I, I don't think I need my cutter. I'll just cut it. I watched um, Angela Toma this morning. She made some really quick cute um, I think she titled I think the title of the video is love notes love notes journals they're just one signature um, real nice just great I think I'll try to whip some of those out I've actually made a few of those in the past and and I've used them personally for stuff Okay, so this we'll put in our paper pile. I'm not going to deal with that yet. Definitely want this. This is uh, Tracy Fox labels. I printed them wrong, so I printed another page. And I need to cut those out. And I really wanted to use my... Ah, that's what I got all this out for. I remember now. Yeah, I got it all out because I wanted to use my... Um, Scan and cut. I still have not even turned it on. 
it sits behind me under the window ceremoniously waiting. I want to put some charms in this book, so that's what I'm going to probably do with some of those little decorative pieces. Not saving all of this. Nope, nope, nope. Some of it, but not all of it. Oh, we need another pile. Let's see. Maybe like that. These, I think I can just put those over on the scan and cut. That is something I wanted to do something awesome with. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this. Maybe for backing. This I was going to use like a flip. So I think I do want to use that as paper. And this would be ephemera. That I, I really liked these bottles. I like the way they came out on the coffee dyed paper. And I believe those are from Eva at Bohemian Crafting. I don't want to go Halloween, but I really liked like these. I'll cut those out later. This is my mail. Not sure how that managed to be in there. Oops. Okay, and here is the signatures. They have to be inside out because they're going to be glued to each other. And I want the inside to show. I don't want to put the glue cover up the pretty paper. Let's see. Some of these I wanted to save not all of them so I wanted to say that I don't need this I'm not saving I'm not saving all my tiny little bits and you can't make me and all the white ones I just don't need them Don't need that one either. That's cool. Don't need this. I like that. Okay, what about you? Okay. Made short order of that, didn't we? Okay, so. I do have a little stack right here. Last time I made a video, I was making this. And I went ahead and added to it. So this is a pocket and that's a pocket. The, this will go on the page and I'm going to put a flip on that. And I'm not sure how this will go in the book, so I'm not going to finish it any more than this. So we'll put that in finished ephemera, which is right here, right? But it's not really finished, but we're going to put it over there anyway. And this is the pocket that I made with um, Rachel's Weekly Challenge. I wanted to put these in the... No, I already have some. Do I? One, two... I don't think I have enough. Oh, these had to be cut. That's what it was. Okay, let's cut them. I have yoga in like, I don't know, a matter of minutes. That's terrible, even. Let's get a cutter. I, ha 
have two cutters, but I'm thinking about getting another one. I really like, I've been seeing the, I think it's We Are Memory Keepers. And it has a scoring slot and a cutting blade. Do any of you have that? I know some of you do. Who is it that has that? Angela, is it you or is it Shannon? Somebody I watch pretty regular. Our, how big is our book? Five and a half. That ding is scrapbook.com. They miss me. I'll make this one four. No, let's do five. No. Let's do four and a half. Okay, that's not four and a half. Let's do four and a half. Let's actually do four and a half. Let me say we're going to just do that. Okay. This one. Let's do four for no particular reason at all. All right, I'm, I'm thinking this book is gonna have at least five signatures. Let me pull my, my uh, cart over here that has all the stuff. It's got the stuff, all the paper and all that jazz. So let's look at paper. have three signatures and if I remember correctly they are six pages a piece no is that true one two three four five oh there's four Boy, that's a nice little signature. Let's make sure. Yep, one, two, three, four. Okay, five including the cover on it. Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So it'll go like that. We still have the latch to do, and I have that already made. So we have one, two, three... Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, I don't want that one, three, oh, come on, one more, hmm, four, okay. And if I remember correctly, I did cut these to a specific size. So let's pull it out. We really don't need the insert or the front. So let's put it out of our way. And let's put the back out of our way too because I know these fit. So I don't need the back either. Let me go get my duckle cutter.
so our cut pieces are ten and a half by seven and three quarters. So I'm going to try something and see if my deco cutter will cut through all of it. Where's my pencil? I have to come in a little bit because I have to give room to the cutter. Ooh, this is crooked. Hmm. Actually, I'm just going to take this right here. I think by the time I take these edges off, it's going to be perfect. So let's just see if, I, if I'm right. I heard that one. Too tall. Okay, so that is going to work. So what I'm going to do is save myself a lot of moving things around. I'm going to go ahead and fold them first and then cut them. I really like the way these turned out. I love the coffee dyed papers that Shannon does and um, you know, so many people have done just gorgeous work. Um, Angela does a beautiful coffee dye. Um, but for this book, I didn't want like a lace pattern or anything like that. And I didn't want it solid and even. I mean, I mean you know, I just figured if I want that, I, then I can just get different colored paper. I wanted I wanted them to look like they've been water-stained, you know. Let's do two at a time, see if we can hurry this along. Tammy, I love your happy place. What a great retreat. What a great retreat. It's just beautiful. Does that family need any more family? I could be their daughter. 
I have no problem with that at all. <laughs> okay. There's our stack. Looks okay to me. Let's see how many we can cut. This is the Tim Holtz um, deco edger, I guess they call it. I'm not sure. I like it. I know there's been some controversy when it came out about the blade. As it gets closer down there, they've had, they didn't deckle it as much, so you don't get an even deckle. I don't know. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm, I guess I'm not that detail oriented. Okay. A little bit more. 